Good morning, sports fans! Today we're going to continue on our series of Hearthstone. I'm going to take my favorite deck out. This is my uh, Dragon Mage deck. Uh, oddly enough, I'm not going to keep the Dragon to begin with. And we're going to continue our relaxing, casual gameplay. Then the Dragon comes in. The whole, tip, whole idea of this to begin with is just to kind of go over basic strategies. Nothing's... Nothing's going to make you an elite player, but if you enjoy playing the game, I enjoy playing the game. Thanks for watching. Best thing about the mage, I really don't have to worry about anyone with one life. That's the best thing about it. When I get into different decks using different heroes that can't attack, things can really start to pile damage. up right at the beginning and make it real stressful. I'm not looking for stress. I'm looking for an easy game. Unfortunately, it seems the higher levels you get, the more people that are going to be rushing you down. And that's all that they have the patience to do, rush you down. There's a lot, a lot of art and technique to rushing down. So it's not, it's not to say that it's a cheap way out or... It's just not my style of play. I had an idea you were rushing me down. Okay, we're gonna counter with my favorite dragon. One one of my favorite dragons. Get somebody on the board. Now we're gonna have five coming up next turn. Hmm. I don't see any reason why not to draw another card. It is nice to get out my uh, mirror entry. It might really help me out in this situation. But what am I gonna do with one? Really nothing. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go with the five. Grab a card. Now, it, it kind of a little bit of a risk taking out the two rather than the four, but every time somebody takes damage, he's going to be gaining an attack. We're, we're just going to stop that right away. It's 20 to 30. All he's got to do is rush me for 20 more points before I have a chance to defend. And that's one of the best weapons to do it with. There's nine points coming at me. Unless I get some armor... <laughs> or uh, survive the nine. I'm not sure how I'm how I'm gonna stick around in this game. All right, we will use our three, and we'll use our two. Continue to take out those guys. See if he, we cannot not lose eleven health this turn, or we may maybe do it a two-parter today. Here comes the five. He's still got six. Hard not to call it mana. What's the technical term for it? Mana. Oh, he's got six mana. I learn something new every day. Ah, music to my ears. He's not sure what to do. Not the not the best card in the game to have out, but um, it. Why didn't he attack me with this new weapon? He already attacked. I knew that. Okay, we're at seven. We could flame strike the whole board. It might not be a bad play. I could start attacking again on offense. It's going to get me closer to getting to nine and resetting my health back up to 15. What's the best play? All right, I'd like to get a new card, please. And we can do that with this. This goes well with my taunts. Three. Start taking down his offense. What situation are we in now? It is 17 to 6. I have two taunts on the board. Warriors are not good at re direct card removal by using spells or abilities like that. So those two taunts might save my bacon. Uh, knock on wood. Gain some armor, get a new card, and then of course the warrior does have a pretty cool card that lets you use all of your uh, all of your points saved up in armor to make an attack. But I believe that's only to a minion. I'm not a warrior expert. I'm no good with them. When I was first looking at all the categories, I thought the rogue and the warrior seemed really interesting. Um, not doing so well with them. Oh, I should have been thinking about my next turn. I have this great card, which lets me ha get a secret out right away, but no secrets to be played. 
I have three to take out, and I really don't have anything with three to hit it with. So let's do my little trick to get some new cards. There's a card. Uh, let's find the floating. There we go, I got him. There's another card. Ah! Hey, look at this. My armor! Oh, I'm in better shape than I used to be. Three mana to go. I have no other cards to play. I have two left up to hit me with. I don't like use wasting this card, but for the cost of one, no biggie. We're going to take his armor off. We're going to make this a game. I don't believe I have anything else in my deck that'll let me taunt. As a mage, I don't play with a lot of taunts, and I typically don't play with a lot of board presence, but uh, that changes when you're being rushed down. The next play should take out my last taunt. Hmm. It's interesting use of the Taskmaster. I like to have the Taskmaster in my deck because it synergizes really well with creatures just like that. It, it would make this uh, enraged by hitting it for one, and then its ability is to gain an additional three attack. So this is a great combo. Okay, I, uh, I'm going to take the save route here, and I'm going to uh, reset my health. I can start thinking about going offense here, but... Uh, I have a huge card advantage, so I'm kind of going to make him climb out of the hole here rather than go for it at, at this point. Six cards to four. We are coming up on the tenth turn to the end of the night. Ooh, a charging, enraging attacker. Does it have wind fairy? What is that? Hello? It is Golmash Hellstream. Man, that's a nice looking card. A brilliant turn 8 turn. I don't think I want to deal with that card. I have four, 15 to go. I have 8 and 6. And that would be a game, wouldn't it? Well, it's nice to show you a win for, for, for a change. Well, let me know. We do take requests. If there's anything in particular that you would like me to cover regarding this game, uh, I'd be happy, more than happy, to explore it for you. Do a little bit of research. Find the best options. Find some of the best strategies. But uh, in until the interest is there, we're going to do some fun, relaxing gameplay. I hope you had a good stay. I will see you again next time, and thanks for watching the video.